Good morning, Charmers. Happy Monday to everyone. We're back to our community habit of action research on Mondays. We were interrupted by the celebration of the Nat World Teachers Day celebration last October 12. So this is now our uh, 12, let me just admit, okay. Our 12 uh, lecture for the action research, action learning online lecture series. Again, this series is hosted by the Lasallian Institute for Development and Educational Research, or LEADER, in cooperation with the Brother Andrew Gonzalez, College of Education, or BAGSED, of De La Salle University, Manila. So for those who have uh, just attended for the first time this Monday habit, welcome to our action research Action Learning Online Lecture Series or ARAL Lecture Series. So we hold this online lecture series every Mondays 10 to 12. We already had 11 um, online lecture series in the past and there are more to come. So if this is your first time to attend, please inform your colleagues and friends that we are holding or host hosting this online series every Mondays from 10 to 12. As always, we encourage all the participants to engage in a insightful exchange of ideas at the end of the lecture. That is the usual highlight of our um, of our uh, lecture series. Okay, um, at the end of the lecture, we open the floor to Q and A, and our action research experts here, Dr. Bing Prudente. Dr. Socorro Aguha and, and the others would uh, entertain your questions, okay, if you have any. So that's what we look, we all look forward to. Just a few of the house rules. At the end of the lecture, the, uh, I mean, the leader office secretary will be posting in the chat box the link to the evaluation uh, form. Please do accomplish the evaluation form so that you will receive the e-certificates for this lecture, okay? As always, we encourage that you accomplish the evaluation form within the given time so that you don't have to either send me a message or email a leader office for the missing link or for the um, um, e-certificate, okay? Usually after the after the lecture, we give another 30 minutes, okay, um, time for those who are still trying to accomplish the form. Also, the link is only valid for 24 hours. So, I, so without much ado, I will now call on the Chair of Action Research, Action Learning, Dr. Maricar Esprudente, to introduce today's featured speaker. Good morning, Shirley. Uh, it is with pleasure that I introduce our speaker this morning. Uh, he is none other than Mr. Salvador John M. Magalong, who is a graduate of BS uh, Physics for Teachers and Master of Arts in Science Education with Specialization in Physics at the Philippine Normal University. He is currently a PhD student at the Science Education Department of De La Salle University, Manila. And he is also presently a senior high school STEM uh, faculty at the De La Salle Santiago Sobel School. Uh, he is a distinguished Apple teacher, a Microsoft innovative educator expert, a Google certified educator, trainer, and innovator. He is actively engaged in presenting technology-related action research papers here and abroad. 
uh, he he is under the mentorship of yours truly, and uh, his research interests include uh, educational action research, educational technology, and science education. So, uh, dear action researchers and educators and education professionals for this charm webinar, please welcome Dr. Salv John Salvador Magalong. Yeah, good morning po. Why John Slip yan, Dr. Okay, oh, Dr. Yeah, salamat po. Okay, so I'm going to uh, share my screen. Okay, Dr. Magalong. Thank you, Dr. Prudente, my advisor. Uh, before I before I proceed, may I just ask everyone to type in seven in the chat box if you can see and hear me clearly. All right. Okay. So earlier, uh, Dr. Dita informed the the group that um, you may uh, what do you call this? You may type in. Sorry, kinakabana ako kasi yung mga boss ko. <laughs> <laughs> that you may type in your uh, your comments. But then I would like to uh, instruct everyone that from time to time, because I'm going to ask you to, uh, I'm going to have strategic process. So I'll be asking you to, uh, what do you call this, uh, to type in a certain number just to check if you are still with me. Okay. After the, uh, your your questions will be, uh, your questions, uh, mas maganda if you're going to, uh, to write it first on a notepad, so on and so forth, okay? So that later, because I'm a solid charmer, and then uh, the, the usual problem that I uh, I observe, okay, so uh, there will be questions along the way, and then babalikan natin yung mga questions. So, so for now, uh, you just keep your questions first, and then later, after I after my lecture, after my sharing, then basically uh, you can you can type in your questions, okay? Okay, Bayon, if it's okay, you type in three. You type in three if it's okay. Okay, very good. Okay, so today I'm going to uh, I'm going to share my journey. So I promise not to be too technical or too uh, too formal on this one. So this one is actually uh, just a sharing, and then um, actually there's some subtitle. It's Googleifying my road to PhD. Send it to you on the email. <laughs> okay, so Googleifying my road to PhD. So expect that along the way, I'm going to share as well my certifications on Google. And then, paano ba itong certification to nag-help sa akin to improve my teaching? Because that's, uh, that's action research, right? Uh, baka magsawa kayo sa mukha ko and then with, with my sharings. Uh, but then, action, after all, action research is just sharing, di ba? Sharing yan sa community and then improving wants, uh, once. Uh, teaching practices. Diba? Sabi nga ni Dr. Prudente, ang aking uh, advisor, uh, selfie, yung, yung ginamit niyang, uh, what do you call this? Uh, ginamit niyang logic is taking a selfie. Okay, so uh, most of my sharings tungkol sa akin. Okay, so ganun ko kasi siya naintindihan. Ganun rin siya na ituro sa amin, so on so forth. I'm not, I'm not, ang dami kong ano, ang dami kong intro, no? I'm not, uh, I'm not claiming that my works are perfect. But then, that's the purpose of action research. Right? You improve. You reflect. You improve. Para, para makuha natin yung gusto natin. Okay, so I'm John. I'm Sir John. <laughs> Kinakabahan ako. Okay, so for our, uh, for our goals for the day, okay, kasi ako medyo malikot yung utak ko. Eh. Ayoko, yung, ano, yung, ayoko yung conventional. Gusto ko, gusto ko malawak yung pag-iisip. Uh, malawak yung, yung, ano, yung, yung horizon. Okay, para when I present. So since I'm going to I'm going to share to you my Google journey or how I Googleify my road to PhD. So these will be our uh, objectives for the day. Okay. So our goals today and beyond. Why beyond? Because after this one, di naman siya matapos yung sa action research natin. Eh. And then after several years, we're going to still improve, improve. But lalo na ngayon, uh, we have uh, we are in a uh, current pandemic. Okay, so patuloy pa rin na ating, uh, patuloy pa rin na ating pag, you know, pag-i-improve. Okay, I'll tell you about my background, yung mga mentors ko, because mentors, they really uh, play a very, uh, an important role in my life. Okay, so I'll share to you saan ba ako nag-umpisa, and then my three-year journey of the three articles that, uh, that comprised my dissertation, along with it, will be mixed certifications. How I, uh, how I was able to write and then publish, 
may realizations after the three cycles, and then may ODL experiences as well. Uh, in my past, in my past webinars, I usually uh, tackle the theoretical underpinnings of next generation blended learning. Okay, what else? Uh, too formal ako. Okay, so heavily sa, sa technology so on and so forth. So ngayon, syempre, yung mga nasundan ko, sila Dr. Lin, sila Dr. Agua, Dr. Prudente, and the, and the best of the best na mga speakers, medyo mahirap silang uh, sundan. Okay, sundan. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll try my best okay, to, to, to deliver. Okay, na merong time impact kasi may baon-baon tayo at the, end of the, at the end of the session. Okay, so... Malilimutan ko ba ba? Okay. Malilimutan ba natin na as a teacher, we usually start with the motivation, right? Ito, pang sip-sip lang talaga. <laughs> okay, so, uh, malilimutan ba natin ang, ang ating um, mga dalaw yung dalawang doctor, uh, doctors who had uh, the previous seminars or webinars? So, we have, of course, yung chairman ng ano, nung, nung panel ko, si Dr. Uh, Mistades. He made use of optical illusion. Yan. Tapos, uh, he presented he presented a lot of pictures and then we were asked to to interpret it. Okay, so paano ba natin siya na-perceive? Also, syempre, di ba, ang papasana all ka na lang. Uh, ang papasana all ka na lang na sana lahat ay premium account, di ba? Ni Dr. Celine Sarmento, wherein she used a mentimeter in the in the beginning, middle, tsaka yung sa pinakahuli uh, using, using technology. So, so as a Google innovator, yan. Okay, so, medyo malikot ang aking isip. So, uh, I'll be sharing with you a, a technique that I was able to uh, to learn in one of the Google Certified Innovators uh, coaching sessions. Okay, so hindi siya high tech katulad nung kala Dr. Uh, Ms. Tades and Dr. Uh, Celine Sermiento. So what I would like you to do now is to think of a problem. Oh, yun na, ito na yung motivation ko, ah, low tech. Ah. Okay, so I want you to think of a problem. Okay. Uh, it's still with me. Uh, you type in two. Type in two in the chat box. Okay. And dami. Ang bilis ta. Okay. So, what I would like you to do is to think of a problem na you are facing right now and then mas humirap pa siya nung nagka-pandemic. So, it's a classroom-based problem which you think na parang perennial problem na siya on your part. Isipin nyo lang muna. Wala pa akong instructions. Ha? Yun lang muna. Okay. So, you think of a problem. Okay, nasa tingin nyo ay mas lalong hihirap na yung pandemic at dati nyo pa iniisip or dati nyo pa na, na problemahan. Okay? In my case, I'm having difficulty talaga ha, talaga yung projectile motion. When it comes to projectile motion, yung mga physics teachers dyan, doon ako nahihirapan talaga. Sobra-sobra nahihirapan ako doon. Okay? So nakapag-isip na ba? Kung nakapag-isip na, type in 8. Kung nakapag-isip na, you type in 8 in the chat box. Okay, nakapag-isip na. Mabilis talaga mga teachers talaga. Eh. Okay. Now, so the next instruction is for you to get a pen and a paper. Again, low-tech to. Ah. Kasi mga high-tech, hindi siyempre. Eh. Yung mga doktor natin, Dr. Mistades and Dr. Uh, Sermento, hindi ko, ano yun, mga high-tech yung mga ano nila, mga motivation nila. So, uh, and then, now, I would like you to get a pen and a paper. Okay? Pen and a paper. Yeah, and what... what uh, I know that you are uh, you are staying now in your workplace, in your working area. So, alam kung may papel kayo dyan. Okay, so this one. Let's have this one. Now, this one, this activity is called Crazy 8 Activity. Again, ha, hindi, disclaimer po, hindi ko po kiniclaim lahat dito ng mga sharing. So, lahat po ay natutunan ko lang sa particular aid. Okay, my next instruction is take the problem that you thought of to move forward and build on it by quickly brainstorming what seven possible ways to address it. Now, diba, uh, why crazy eight? Kasi yung una is you're going to draw, okay, the problem that you're, the, the one that, uh, that ask you to, ano, to think of. Okay, and then the next seven, syempre, bibigyan ko ng problema. The next seven, you're going to draw as well, okay, you're going to draw as well the possible ways of addressing it. Okay, so I have here a timer. And then, pwede ba yung ating, uh, kung, si, kung sino ang sound technical. Ako bang magsasounds dito? O sige ha, ako magsasounds ha. So, I'll have your timer. And then, I'll give you each, uh, I mean, each, uh, okay, uh, the first one is the problem. Tapos yung seven, I, uh, four, 40 seconds per, I mean, a possible way to address it. Okay? Kailangan gagawin nyo to ha. Kasi kung hindi nyo gawin to, ano ba? Okay ba? Malasin. Dejo ka lang. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's start now. Ay, sorry. Okay. And dahil maulan-ulan, maulan-ulan tayo. Yan, pwede ba tayo may music tayo yung sa ating co-host? Yan. Mga yung mga carpenters tayo dyan, mga plantito-plantita natin, right? So the first one, you are asked to draw the problem. Okay, sino yung co-host natin? Okay, music naman dyan. O ako ba mag-music? Ikaw na lang. Ikaw na lang. Ah, ako ba? <laughs> okay, so first date muna. First problem, problem muna yan, ha? Okay. Okay, next naman. Dapat may music dito eh. Okay, next. First possible way to address it. Hmm. Paano kaya ito? Okay. Mawawala yung aking presentation kapag in-stop ko to. So perhaps I can ask the co-host kahit anong music dyan. Kasi when we did this one, okay, when we did, did okay, when we did this one, I might, okay, when we did this one, may problem ka, may ano kami na, uh, what do you call this? Meron kami music. Yeah. Any song, sir? Any song, any song, any song. Yeah. Oh, pwede na mag-start? Yes, yes, go, go. Yan. Okay, dapat nasa second time na kayo, ha? Bagong bago ah. <laughs> Bagong bago. Marami tayong plantito plantito dito. Dapat pa nga. <laughs> ano ano ba sir? Kasi hindi ko alam. Wala wala. Joke lang yun. Na problema si Miss. Okay. So next idea na. Yeah, next idea. Yan. Yeah, mawawala yung music niya. Yan. Yeah. Ah, next idea na. That's just a, a sign. It's in the form of a drawing, ha? Huh? How well, TJ, ha? Huh? It's in the form of a drawing. Nineteen seconds for that idea. Timer is downloadable from YouTube. Eight idea, uh, seven ways to address it. Ito na ba si Dr. Palomar? <laughs> okay, next idea. Kamaya, malalaman natin kasi yung mga walang ginawa. Okay. <laughs> the guys as it's why I'm uh, looking at my right. Okay, last two. Last two ideas. You draw it, huh? Morning, classmate. Don't be wrong. Baka iba nagtitiktok na dyan, ha? Hindi na kami. <laughs> 
Oke, okay, last idea ya. I'll be checking your output. Sedikit na. Okay, last idea, last one, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 13, 14. Bagong-bago. Okay. Okay, stop na. All right. So what I would like you to do, uh, okay, stop na tayo ah. Okay, what I, well, what I would like you to do is to is for you to open your camera and then you show on the camera your output. Okay, everyone. Yan, ito po yung attendance natin. Yan, lagot po tayo sa attendance natin. Joke lang. Okay, so titignan ko nga. Okay, show on the camera. Open your camera. Show on the camera your output. Yan, nakikita ko. Yan, tignan mo. Yan, nakikita ko kay Teacher Riza. Yan. Okay, kay Teacher Marvin din. Very good, very good. Yan. How about the others? Yan. Okay. All right. Okay, so kunwari ano ah, kunwari kunwari ano ah, may ginawa kayo ah. <laughs> okay, so uh, 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 during our session, we were asked to to think of eight activities that would address our problem. Okay, in that case, uh, we were given the same ano, we were given the same timer and then we are, we were asked to show our output on the on the camera. Okay, so this one this one could be used as I mean, a, a motivation for the students. If, for instance, you ask them for, for, for their, ano, for uh, uh, eliciting um, uh, their initial knowledge on a certain topic, so on and so forth. And then, actually, retreat talaga to eh. Okay, joke lang. Okay, so it could be a sharing. You can ask someone to show his or her work on the camera and then let him uh, to to present that uh, to the rest of the class. Okay, so ito ay isang ano lang kasi wala kong... Uh, masyadong high-tech yung mga ginagawa ng iba. So, this one is one way of, of uh, uh, spicing up yan, our lesson. Okay, thank you po, teachers. Okay, now, let me share with you yan, my background. Why uh, why I was able to uh, to sustain my, my love for research. Uh, for everyone's knowledge, I'm not actually fond of, of the English language. It's actually my, 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 my weakness. That's one of my weaknesses. Or yun ata yung pinaka weakness ko when, when I was a student. And then I'm just, what do you call this? Uh, I'm just, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I, I'm just good in math, in science. Kaya siguro ako nag-physics. So more, uh, noong 2014, when I decided to, to continue my master's, and I know that the most of the, I mean, the most crucial part when you're finishing a degree, kung yari, tapos ka na sa coursework mo, you're done with your compre, you pass it already. The most crucial point, alam ko nakaka-relate kayo dito, is when, uh, is when you are about to write your, your, your manuscript. Okay, so what I suggest, kung kunwari nandun ka sa phase na yun, kasi noong 2014, nandun ako sa phase na yun, ayoko magsulat, uh, wala akong motivation, Ayoko ng English. Ayoko ng nag ay, ay, ayoko mag-review of lit, uh, related literature, magbasa, I don't like. But then uh, as I've said, uh, malaki po ang respect ako sa mga mentors. Yan, that's why andito po ang aking pinaka unang mentor sa sa PNU. <laughs> yeah, tempre special yan si Sir si Dr. Paro uh, Brando Palomar. Uh, naging doctor po siya nung Friday lang. And then also may mentors, yung mga panelists ko. So Dr. Erlings, Dr. Nueva Espanya, and Dr. Camacho. It's, it's very, malaking bagay yun para sa isang taong hindi naniniwala sa kakayaan niya. Mas, malaking halaga yun sa akin. <laughs> ano ba yung may background? Ba? Retreat talaga to eh. Oh. So malaking, malaking ano yan, malaking bagay sa akin na may, na may isang tao na yung maniniwala sa'yo. Because that's the one that will, di ba, that that will keep you going. Okay, so of course, aside from your vision, lahat yun talaga yung goal mo. 
pero may iba eh. Iba talaga yung mentors eh. Ang dami kong, ang dami kong, ang dami kong papasalamat sa mga mentors. So, yun lang, ilan na yung background. No, in 2017, yan, tapos na. <laughs> so, in 2017, I was, uh, I, I graduated from my MA. And then, uh, Dr. Uh, Palumar was my advisor then. I was, uh, uh, I, I, this one is my, ano, my, my title. So, I was asked to, uh, to use a certain learning management system in a flip classroom model and then investigate its effects on students' achievement and learning experiences. Students' achievement in terms of the motion, yung projectile motion, and then the learning experiences about, I mean, uh, probing students' independent study skills and attitudes on the use of technology. Now, I, I introduced this one because this is actually, for me, ha, for me, ito po ay ang pinakaunang point sa akin ng action research. I, I, at this time, I'm not, I'm not familiar with action research. How to be action research? How is it different from the, from the regular one or yung, yung isang full length na, na, na study? But then, dito ko siya, dito ko siya inangkla. Okay? Kasi we have, I have, ano, I have, uh, I have observations here and then I have reflections on those observations. Okay. Okay, dahil dyan. Okay. So these are my thesis results. Makikita ba? Okay. Okay, may I ask uh, everyone to to type in uh, seven. Type in seven nga if you can see my screen, and then if you can hear me. Okay. Okay. So hindi siya nagaano yung background ko. Okay. So here are my thesis results in 2017. So although the students' concept, uh, conceptual understanding, they are statistically significant, your sharing is fast. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so here are my uh, thesis results. So in terms of conceptual understanding, uh, my, my results are statistically significant, but not practically significant. So what does it mean? So when you, when you uh, know, when I applied for the, I mean, the statistical treatment for, I think, ng titas ako dito. Um, It's significant. It is significant. However, in the standards of that ed and then in Zobel, it's not practically significant because I be, uh, as far as I know, the, the percentage of passing in, in Zobel is 60%. Okay, so parang I have a, uh, an achievement test here and then I made that one and then hindi nag 60% yung scores. But then it's statistically significant. Okay. Also, one of the, one of the observations that the students the, the, in the In their journal reflections, the teacher preference it keeps on uh, appearing. Okay, so halos lahat ng uh, sagot ng bata ay may teacher preference. In that case, uh, uh, my, my methodology is about yung, yung uh, implementing flip classroom, and then for I think for three to four weeks, uh, we've been implementing uh, flip classroom. So they do it somewhere else. So even uh, outside the classroom, just before or their homes, just before. The, the idea is that just before they get into my class, they, need, they are expected to navigate the, the playlist or the, yes, the, the, the playlist I made using the LMS. Okay, but then, uh, but then, nagkaro, uh, but then nagkaroon pa rin ng, ano, ng, ng, ng gantong sagot, teacher preference pa rin. Okay, well, as, they, as, they, ano, as they learn the concepts. Also, since we've been doing this one for several days, nagkaroon din ng, uh, common, what do you call this? A uh, common theme. It's about the flipped classroom saturation. Also, I would like you to, what do you call this? Uh, to share also the flipping techniques I was able to, to, to uh, develop, tama ba ako? Or mga, mga naisip ko during the implementation of it. Okay, so, meron akong lima. So, the first one is dictatorship. Of course, medyo, ano kasi ako, medyo masungat kasi ako sa classroom. So, what I usually do is that, oh, you do this one. Okay, by tomorrow, you, uh, Your your play, your playlist must be uh, your guru playlist must be navigated already. So that's one. But then it uh, it became effective during the first few days lang. Ganun ang nangyari. So sabi ko isip ako ng isip. So ano kaya ang pwede kong gawin? Okay. So nag percentage technique rin ako. So the percentage technique is parang ano, it's more of uh, self realization. Okay, itong mga bata. Okay, so pag uh, in our next meeting, while uh, pag didiskus na namin yung 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 concepts doon sa 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 guru playlist nila uh, I'll ask them oh, who were able to ano who were able to uh, answer or to finish the uh, the playlist 
Okay, so magtatasil lang kamay. Okay, so ano na lang siya, eh? parang I'll, I'll make them realize those who weren't able to navigate the playlist na wala silang ginawa. Okay, pero hindi rin naging magana yon. Okay, hindi rin siya gumana. So I, I, uh, that led me to the longer time. Okay, so dito ko na-realize, na, and I know everyone is familiar with this one, na, lalo na ngayong ODF. The, the playlist must be, must be given days before. Okay, so for instance, you expect it to, uh, to, have, it, uh, to have it discussed on a Monday. So yung previous Monday, or at least Wednesday of the previous week, dapat na ibigay na yung playlist. Okay, syempre nung, ano na to, 2017, 2016, 2017, 2016 na ako nag-data gathering yan. Uh, 2016. Of course, at that time, hindi ako, I mean, I'm not perfect. Hindi naman ako expert that time. And even now, hindi po ako perfect. Hindi po ako expert din. So at that time, uh, okay, so longer time pala. So kailangan uh, ahead of time, uh, mabigay na. So doon ko na, doon ko na na-realize. Na, na so parang doon ako nag, nag, ano, nag, nag-reflect. Okay? Tapos siguro, kung ano yan, uh, tumagal yan mga ilang days or mga ilang, basta one, one month yun eh, three to four weeks ako na ganag data gathering eh. And then on the fourth, ano, you, that led me to my fourth, ano, fourth technique. You give it a time. Okay, so, binigay mo sa bahay, okay, why not bigay mo rin siya sa classroom? Now, uh, a common misconception about flip classroom is that you, dapat yung mga bata, sa labas nila ginagawa. No, kahit sa loob ng classroom, they can, you can do flip classroom. The idea of flip classroom is for the, yung, yung, yung pag-aaral nila ng concepts, pag-aaral nila ng concept, instead na sa'yo manggagaling, dapat manggaling yan sa kanila. Uh, I mean, dapat manutunan nila yun. Dapat sila mismo yung nakaka-discover nun. So why not give it a time in, inside the classroom na pwede nilang in-navigate yung playlist? So naging effective siya. Pero, ito ang pinaka-favorite ko, okay? Kung nandiyan si Dr. R.C. Sir Richard. Ayan, ito ang favorite ko. What if, uh, what if, yun na, um, hindi ko nabigay na maayos yung, ano, yung playlist na maaga. Okay, I, I, I don't have any time in my classroom to, for it to be Uh, for it to be, what do you call this? For it to be done inside the classroom. Okay, so, paano na? Wala na akong, ano, wala na akong technique. So, I'll tell the class na, okay, tomorrow you need to, uh, this playlist must be uh, finished within the day because tomorrow I have a classroom observation. So, meron akong, meron akong, uh, what do you call this? Meron akong mag-observe sa klase. So, dapat matapos nila yon. Kasi kung hindi, lagot, di ba? So, so far naman, nakikipag-cooperate naman yung mga bata. So, I, I find the, The, the last one, the uh, classroom observation, to be the effective. Pero hindi naman siya sabi na tatakotin niya yung bata or what, okay, makikonsaba. Okay, but then at that time, yan yung mga mga techniques na na-learn na, na ko. Okay? Now, ayun na, as I've said, ha, magsashare ako sa inyo kung paano ko, kung paano, yung ano, yung, I mean, uh, as we discuss along the way, I'll, I'll be sharing to you yung, yung progress ng pag, pagkuha ko ng certifications. Now, noong April 2017, I graduated from, ano, from, yan, from PNU, And then I decided, while waiting for my graduation, I decided to take the level one certification. So ibig sabihin, while I'm doing that, the data gathering, uh, labo-labo siya. So I, I don't think na, ano ba, nag, nabigyan ko ba siya ng justice? Nabigyan ko ba ng, um, naka, yung mga skills ko ba ay appropriate or proficient ba ako sa, sa technology at that time when I, when I do the data gathering? So just to test kung totoo talaga or what, So, and with the Google product, so I took the level one in April 2017. At uh, pumasa naman, at na-renew ko na yan, kasi three years yan. And then in 2017 of September, I decided to go to, ano, to be in, to, ano, to enroll in my PhD in physics. Doon ko na narinig yung action research. Yeah, syempre, syempre, ano, um, in-introduce ko yung, yung chair ng panel ko, si Dr. Mista. Adres sa sa mga panelist ko si Dr. Sarmel. Siyempre, makakalimutan ko ba yung dalawang uh, yung dalawa sa mga pinakamagagaling, uh, yung mga pinakamagagaling ng mga action researchers sa bansa. Yan si uh, si Dr. Aguha and then Dr. Uh, Prudente. And then you'll find in their paper uh, the iterative uh, process of action research in 2017. So ibig sabihin ng 2017 in a Philippine context, I was able to uh, to, to read this one. Eh. Ang hirap uh, hanapin ng libro eh. Maliit maano lang eh. makapal yung libro. Okay, but then a portion, yun yung sa aral, yung mga unang batch ng aral. And then also this one, these steps are also uh, introduced or yes, was reviewed by Dr. Sam Mentorin. Okay, so you'll start with the initial investigation, 
creating strategies, implementing, observing the results, and reflecting on the outcome. So in the next in the in the next slides, I'll be showing to you paano ko ba to ginamit, okay? Without knowing action research kasi yung medyo bago-bago pa yung research na yan sa akin pandinig. And I'm really oh, sabi ko sa inyo, I'm not perfect naman, hindi naman ako uh, expert on this one. But then uh but then today, parang parang feeling ko ah, ganito pala, ganito talaga yung action research, uh, you more on reflecting, okay? Uh, hindi mo naiisipin yung ibang tao. Okay, the the other stakeholders, the uh, the the school, the admin, the students, the parents, sila ay mga collaborators mo to improve your teaching. Okay, to improve your ano your 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 ways or your practices. Okay, so um so from thesis, meron akong mga ano agam agam sa utak. Yeah, so I I I had my first cycle. Uh, and my initial investigation was about the the students' um, thesis results in sa junior high school. Yeah. So again, recall natin um, we had um, yung saturated sila. What else? Not practically significant. And then teacher preference. So what I did was ang ginawa ko nagflip ako creating strategies. Yeah. Okay. So I made use of Google Forms as lesson playlist. So in 2017. Uh, nakikita niyo dyan yung date, it's 2018. Uh, pero 2017 ko yan, mga binubuksan-buksan ko yan, tsaka yung mga, mga uh, future partners ko, uh, minodify rin nila yan. So, uh, I was a, a physical science teacher, and then I made use of Google Forms as lesson playlists in 2017. So, I, I gave them time sa classroom, and then I made, uh, I made lesson playlists then using Google Forms for them to do it at home. So parang flip na siya and then lesson playlist inside the classroom. I can clearly remember in one of our less uh, in one of our sessions with Dr. Prudente. Sabi niya, pinakita ko to, pinakita ko tong itong screenshot na to. Sabi niya, um, ayan diyan, pwede ka diyan magano, action research yung parang pwede ka diyan magumpisa. Uh, investigate mo kung, kung effective ba siya so on so forth. So, just to give you a background, I gave uh, for one unit in uh, in physical science, I asked my I mean for mga ilan yan, mga five, four to five lesson playlist using Google Forms. Uh, ganyan yung lesson ko. Okay, so ginamit ko yan so for, for one minute. Of course, syempre, uh, at that time, uh, uh, professor ko si Dr. Prudente in uh, Statistics 1. And then we are required to, ano, to, to have a, an action research. Okay, now, so these are the... Uh, these are my ways on how I implemented that. And then I observed the results by means of the different um, techniques, okay, and then tools. So I made use of technology acceptance model, their journal reflections, like FGD po ako, and then their assessment scores. And even I, I believe I can still remember na yung kanilang uh, final grades as well. Also observations as their teacher. So usually, ganito po ang ginagawa ko. Yeah, just to give you an idea. Okay, so... Uh, I'll start with the routine. Yan naman, dyan man tayo nag-start. Okay, a review. It could be a, a question, a gamification, yung, yun yung mga kahoot, yung quizzes natin, quizlet, um, a simple question in the Google Classroom, so on and so forth. So, pwedeng, pwedeng ganun naman tayo mag-umbisa, di ba? And then, I'll give them time, 10 to 15 minutes. And I know, hindi ko alam ha, yung sa UDL framework kasi, ano eh, uh, new rin siya sa akin eh. Uh, it was in, uh, na, 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 na encounter ko lang UDL framework nung, nung nagbabasa ko ng literature. And then, what about this? Yung sharing ni Dr. Prudente. So a lesson playlist is just, yeah, it's a playlist for a particular lesson and it usually uh, runs for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so routine, review, and then I'll inform the, the class na, okay, I'll give you time to, uh, to navigate the playlist using Google Forms. Okay? And then after that, hindi ako mag-lesson. So magkakaroon lang ako ng generalization. Now, this one is a screenshot of uh, a session in molecular polarity. Okay, I would like to, to, uh, um, to, ay hindi pala, ano, if you can notice, yeah, if you can notice, I started with the title, no, itong PowerPoint ko, ah, so after nung 10 to 15 playlist. Okay? And then the second slide, we have the objectives. The objectives are also included in the Google Forms. And then after that, nag-synthesis questions na ako. Okay, tingnan nyo doon. Synthesis, question, synthesis questions, number one. Synthesis question, number two. So on and so forth. Okay, so it's very far. Ah, it's very far. Parang ano, parang uh, tinansform ko siya into something like this. Uh, 
as compared doon sa traditional na, okay, our lesson for today is about molecular polarity. So, a chemical bond is blah, 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 di ba, ganun tayo usually. So, yung mga chemical bond, yung mga types of it, okay, mga characteristics of those, nilagay ko sila sa isang playlist. Okay, and then I let them nav navigate those, and then I have generalization questions, and then I have assessment. Okay, usually kasi in the traditional, we'll, ha we'll wait the next day for the assessment. Okay, so kung may assessment kayo, mga five items lang, so on and so forth, or uh, nagahabol tayo, so on and so forth. Okay? Now, so usually ganyan yung routine ko. So four, four to five uh, lesson fields. Okay, next is reflecting on the out uh, outcome. Okay, so uh, yung pare FGD, journal reflections, at nag-ano pa rin? Uh, what do you call this? Nag-appear nag pa rin nag-appear pa rin yung saturated. Okay, so sabi ko, nag-flip na ako. Nag, uh, I gave them time inside the classroom using uh, Google Forms. Kasi, I mean, ang daming platforms, right? O then, syempre, uh, kailangan ko yan para sa certification ko. Okay. Okay, so, and then, statistically, I'm sorry, statistically significant, but not practically, uh, practically significant. Ganun pa rin siya. So, parang, uh, okay, so, ano, uh, okay naman yung scores nila. Okay naman yung results, but they're not practically significant. So, doon na naman ako. Doon na naman ako nag-reflect. However, the teacher preference, I'm sorry ah, <laughs> the teacher preference, parang pinin ko na uh, at that time, hindi siya nag-appear. So, I was able to to address that. Okay, so ganun, ganun siya nangyari. Okay, next. Nag-cycle to naman ako. Noong school year 2018-2019, ito yung full-time student ako eh. Kaya, noong mga unang, ano, unang term sa, sa PhD, talaga masungit talaga ako eh. Hindi <laughs> ako na kayo pag-usap kasi pagod na pagod ako eh. After magka-class ako sa, ano, sa, sa Zubel, and then discipline officer pa ako doon, uwi, di ba parang, sabi ko, sige na nga, mag-full-time student na ako. So, in cycle 2, I'm, uh, I'm a full-time student, and then ang bang ginawa ko dito? Okay, so ano, I, I, I reflected from the, from, the, from the previous cycle. So, while, okay, so kasi hindi siya statistically significant. Okay, tapos saturated pa rin, uh, routinary. And then, may mga bata, okay, may mga bata lumabas sa kanilang reflections na they are pressured to finish it. While naging maganda yung results ng kanilang mga assessments, um, exit ticket scores, uh, yung iba, ito yung mga lumabas eh. Parang uh, they are pressured to finish it. Uh, they are expected to learn the concepts in a short span of time. Tapos pag generalization na, nawawala na sila, so on so forth. Okay, so, so yun yung mga lumaga, lumabas. Okay, so what I did was, okay, so nag-flip classroom na ako, nag-lesson playlist na ako. So ang ginawa ko ay, okay, so we impl I implemented the next generation blended learning modalities. Okay, so in my previous webinars, alam ko meron akong copy ng email nila lang kung gusto nyo makuha yung, ano, yung video. I discussed there the theoretical underpinnings of NXGBL. But then the main idea of it is that the use of LMS must be, uh, I mean, the use of LMS must be a, an active tool in the teaching and learning process. Hindi siya pwedeng maging palamuti lang. Okay? Later, I'll, later, I'll, I'll, in my sharing later sa mga, sa mga ibang slides, um, I, I'm going to share with you yung mga, mga ginagawa ko sa Google Classroom noong 2014. And then, paano siya nagbago? Ngayong, ngayong 2019, ngayong nag-ODL. Okay? So, in cycle 2, in 2018-2019, I decided to uh, I decided to take a class. Okay? So, for one month yon at pinayagam po ako ng Dr. Prudente na hindi pumasok ng isang buwan <laughs> para mag-data gathering. So, I, I, I implemented yung lesson playlist na, yung flip na rin, nag-station rotation na rin ako, and then the whole class uh, journal blended. Uh, modality. So, pinagsama-sama ko na sa, sa, sa kanila kasi ewan ko na lang ha, baka may hanapin pa sila sa akin. And, and then, ano, um, maybe tataka kayo sa oh, 2018-2019 na yan. So, hindi, hindi ka, I mean, yan kasi yung panahon sa Zobel na uh, nag-start na kami ng National Conference on Technology tapos tinarin kami ng station rotation, ng clip. So, ibig sabihin, medyo malabo pa yung 2014 to 2017. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, hindi kami perfect. Hindi kami, ano, uh, naintindihan namin, lalo na yung mga teachers ngayon, naintindihan namin kung paano kayo nag-struggle. Diba? Parang from, from, from traditional, tapos mag-online lang lahat. Eh kami, uh, nag-try na kami ng ganito. At nahirapan kami. And until na, nahirapan ako. Talagang, you know, may explain kasi baka may yaka dito. <laughs> okay, so, so, use of LMS. Uh, I made use of Google Classroom. Yeah. Yun, yun, yung, yun naman yung common na 
Google Class uh, na learning management system sa amin. And then at that time, rin, naglabas rin si Google Class ng napakaraming features, nag-update sila, so on and so forth. So, what I did was, I implemented for the, the lesson ng energy and momentum. Okay? And here are my, uh, here are my uh, implementation and observation. So, I gave them time. Tingnan niyo po sa upper left. I gave them time to do it inside the classroom. I gave them time outside the classroom. So, flip. And in the station rotation. Tingnan niyo po sa station rotation. If you happen to notice, uh, there's one station there na nandun lang ako. Okay? So, nag-lecture lang ako. So, di ba ganun sa station rotation? One teacher led. And then the second one, yung upper, ay lower left. Okay? Saka, tingnan niyo yung sudyante ko, unti lang. Kasi isang station lang siya. And then lower left ay... Uh, collaboration, so no technology. So tingnan nyo, uh, pair-pair yung mga bata. And then the last station ay isa-isa yung mga bata ng computer. Okay, or, um, ng, ano, ng, ng iPad or mobile learning device. So I implemented that sa energy and momentum concept uh, survey. And then alam naman natin, if you are a physics teacher, mahirap yung sa EMCS. Eh. Hindi ko alam kung <laughs> naging maganda ba yung conceptual anong dito. Okay, so... Uh, energy and momentum conceptual survey, I use that during reflections, post individual, and then observations as a teacher. So these are my, um, uh, my, my the, the, the outcomes. Okay, these are my uh, reflections then. Okay, so I was able to uh, learn that they have a positive attitude on the, on the instructions we're, we're doing inside the classroom. And then, same pa rin. Statistically significant but not practically significant. Again, na, hindi, hindi po ito perfect. So, baka may mga naiisip na po, lalo na po yung mga action research guru natin or yung mga matagal na po sa industriya. Ito po ay sa akin lang. Okay, so, ganito ko po siya naiintindihan. So, baka may mga variables kasi tayo dito. Eh. Ngayon ko lang naiisip na may mga variables tayo dito na baka hindi siya true dito sa class na to, dito sa class na to, so on so forth. Okay, at that time, uh, at that time, ito, at, ganito ko siya naintindihan. Okay, that time. And, hindi po ako perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Pero, one more thing, na wala si saturated. Oh. Parang, hindi ko, ay, na, ano ko siya na, yung teacher, parang hindi sila, I mean, uh, okay na yung exposure ko as a teacher. And then also, the the variety ng ating uh, mga modalities. So, parang umokay na yung sa kanila. So, yun na. Doon na ako nag sa, sa cycle 2. Doon ako nag-end. And then, yan. Yeah. Okay, so may ask everyone nga to, uh, to, to, to key in nine. Kung nandiyan pa kayo, yan, key in nine. Dami na pala, oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ayun yung pala, hindi ko pala nasabi sa inyo. Uh, Doon sa mga uh, mga avid, ano ko, avid attendees. I usually... Avid. I mean, yeah. yeah, mga avid. <laughs> yung mga, <laughs> ano, yung mga fans ko dyan, ha. Kung, na, kung napapasin nyo, usually I, when I, uh, when I uh, hold uh, webinars, meron akong theme. So dahil ngayon ay eh, uso-uso ang mga plantita at saka plantita yan. Ah. Yan, dyan inspired ang ating, ano, ating presentation ngayon. Okay, so, ang dami ko sinabi, no? Okay, so in March 2019, dyan na po nagsimula, uh, dyan na, ayan na yung, ano, yung parang feeling ko last, last term ko na sa, sa Lasal. And then gusto kong, ano, gusto kong, gusto kong itest yung sarili ko. Gusto pinapirapan yung sarili ko, yeah, okay? So gusto kong itest yung sarili ko if I'm really ready for the data gathering, kung talaga bang proficient ako for that. Okay, so, uh, kahit isang taon na akong nakalive pa uh, that time, so I took the level 2 at uh, humbly po ay nakapasa po ako doon. And then in July 2019 na yung po, kitang-kita niyo po si, ano, nakared po talaga si Dr. Podente. Until na, nakared po si Dr. <laughs> okay, so I was asked... I was asked to share uh, by Dr. Prudente. Siyempre, hindi mo na ako makakahindi. No? Makakahindi ka ba ba? No? Si Dr. Prudente. Yeah. So, uh, in July 2019, my last uh, term sa mga classing ko. So, shout out po sa mga classing ko dyan. Diyan po kayo sa picture. So, I was asked to ano, to share my, ano, may, may mati- mga techniques ko yun para hindi na rin ako mapurol. And then, I think kasi kapag kasama ko yung mga classmates ko, yun, uh, what do you call this? Parang ang dami kong na, parang ang dami ko na nakakausap. Kasi siyempre, eh, mga, yung mga classmates ko niya, mga big bossing yan sa kanilang mga schools, di ba? Yan yung mga sikat sa schools niya na pinapadala para mag-aral. So, in July 2019, nabuo po yung Tara Edutech tayo. Yan, no? para uh, hindi ko po alam kung ano po yung uh, dadalhin po ko niyan, kung saan ako dadalhin. Pero, yun po, no, August 2019, ay nagkaroon po ako ng mga, yan, August 2019, September 2019, nagsunod-sunod po siya, yun, na nagkaroon po ako ng, ano, ng, uh, tawag dito, ng mga opportunities. Yan. Ito nga yung sasabihin ko sa inyo, eh, uh, yung PA nyo talagang pumanday sa akin. PA nyo talaga yan. Ito yung si Dr. Palomar, di ba? Uh, ang PA nyo yan, uh, 
uh, bachelor's ko, master's ko, yun yung nagpanday sa akin. Okay, pero ang nagpakinang sa akin, yan, no, no, ang nagpakinang sa akin talaga yung Lasal. Yung Lasal family ko, syempre star yun, di ba? Di ba, ano ba yun? Talagang naipasok, ano, na, 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 eh, di ba? So, um, uh, di ba, torch, di ba? Torch yan sa, sa PA ni Apoy. Di ba, yung Apoy yun yung pumapanday eh. But then, di ba, yung Lasal family ko, I'm a, I'm a Zobel teacher and I'm a, a Manila student, a Lasal Manila student, star, star siya. Parang yan yung papakinang. Yan yung papakinang sa akin eh. Itong, itong tara edotech tayo eh. Okay, wala lang yung circle. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, yeah, marami yan. Maraming, ano, maraming opportunities. Okay, while, while I'm having that, uh, nag-start na yun ako ng cycle three. But then, hindi ko alam kung, hindi ko alam kung tama ba na ang interpretation ko this one is cycle three. Kasi, um, Uh, parang feeling ko supplement siya yung ginawa ko dito kasi gumawa ako ng instrument. So, still sig- not significant. These are my realisa- uh, realizations. And then, uh, nagkaroon ako ng initial investigation dito sa mga school records. So, I found an init- uh, I found a, a school record na hindi nagtutugma yung perception ng studyante at saka mga teacher. So, for us teachers, ubo okay kami doon sa next gen according sa team, sa FCIT uh, metrics. However, Uh, the students, hindi natutugma yung answers namin. So sabi ko, pa- pa- paano ba namin malalaman yung perceptions ba ng mga bata sa paggamit ng Google Classroom in support of the next-gen blended learning, eh nagtutugma ba sila o hindi? So dito ko naisip na gumawa. Yeah. Na gumawa ng isang instrumento. Wow. Tagalog na tagalog. So I, I, uh, so I reviewed all the literature. I made an instrument. And then I took note of the five domains of a and an next generation blended learning kasi yun yung kinikilig ng school namin eh okay so in 2015 the first time that they introduced this one ni Gates Bill and Melinda Gates in 2015 uh, we adopted the framework okay and then we we uh, we defined this one in three uh, three items or three frameworks pa yung SAMR what else um yung FCIT sa kay modalities ni Horn and Staker okay so Yes, sige, next gen kami. Yes, it's 2019, 2020. But the, the school records, they do not, no, they do not um, conform to each other. So gumawa ako ng instrument, ng instrument. Okay, so hindi ko alam kung cycle, hindi ko alam yung mga teacher ko dyan. <laughs> okay, so nag-pilot testing ako. Okay, so pinag-aralan ko at that time na medyo nakalimutan ko na ngayon yung nag, ano, nag, nag-PCA ako, FCA, uh, nagpasagot ako, so on and so forth. So, I was able I was able to to uh, from 52 items na chineke ni Dr. Prudence for 52 items so pina ano ko siya pina pilot test ko siya uh, tapos naging 35 items siya actually there are eight domains but then there are some domains di ba ganun yung sa sa paggawa ng there there are eight domains but then pwede mo namang i i emerge yung mga iba't ibang uh, i-cluster so umu umu okay siya sa five domains na makang akmang akma okay doon sa ating um, dito sa sa five domains in the gates and gates yan may ask everyone to type in eight yan tingnan ko nga ako nang jump pa kayo yan eight yan pa fine <laughs> pa fun <fine>. side <laughs> ano to ha? okay webinar po ito ha hindi po ito hindi yo so sabi ko nga sa inyo not too technical ha? just sharing lang siguro naman yung action research yung share lang naman ako okay very good yan very good talaga eh Okay, so that led me okay, to my dissertation proposal. Siyempre, yun si Dr. Aguha. Yan. Sila Dr. Patente. At kung nakikinig po sila, Dr. Lydia. Yan. <laughs> Dr. Lapinid. At ito po yung pinasend ko. So in cycle one, uh, humbly po, I was able to... Uh, uh, may, I, was, I mean, all, all the, these papers were, were published already. Okay, so I was able to present them. Uh, tapos na, na-accept sila. And then, ayun po, yun lang, yun lang yung sasabi ko. And then, saan nang galing yung sa, pro- at saan nang galing yung mga variables ko sa dissertation? So, meron ako kasing hindi pinapansin doon. Okay, na, uh, well, conceptual understanding, it's very, it's very obvious. Okay, so, statistically significant, but not practically significant. Okay, perceptions, bakit perceptions? Kasi, I, uh, the school records, hindi sila nagkakonform with the students' perceptions ng using ng GC. Uh, in a next generation blended learning uh, so gumawa ako ng uh, gumawa ako ng, uh, ng instrument for that para may mag-measure noon and then the media literacy ito hindi natin pinapansin lalo may mga science teachers doon eh I, i don't know with the other ano with the other teachers ko yung ibang major ah. 
But then, itong media literacy, so sabi ko, ano ba, uh, mali ba yung mga sinasabi ko sa classroom? Or uh, may, may, may common theme doon sa, sa tatlong yan na hindi ko pinapansin. Okay, so tinignan ko. Tinignan ko yung records nila, discipline records. Okay, yung mga details po nun sa, sa final defense ko na po sa sabihin mo. <laughs> sigurado ko, sigurado na eh. Okay, so um, may mga, nag-interview ako ng mga science teachers. Uh, na mga uh, sagot na mga bata kasi doon ko na isip yun eh, yung, yung media literacy skills ng mga bata eh, na there's something a problem here na hindi ko pinapansin and also di ba parang it's very hard for us to to integrate yung media literacy approaches in a science class yung mga hard skill subjects I mean yun di ba medyo mahirap yun pero nag-a-appear siya sa reflection ng bata sabi ko ayun ako baka ito yung kailangan kong i- ano, i-improve sa teaching ko okay so sana po malinaw po yun <laughs> okay so Okay, so after po noon, nagkaroon uh, noong March 2020 po. Yan ha. Ito po yung mga mukha ko lang yung mga nandiyan ha. Okay, noong March 2020, again, nag-share po ako ng mga, ng ano, ng, ng journey ko with, with, with Google rin. Okay, so in March 2020, I was uh, accepted uh, as a Google Certified Trainer. Uh, ang mga entries ko po ay yung mga pinakita ko kanina. Okay, yung po, ano, yung, nagpakin, yung mga activities na nagpapakinang, di ba? May nila Dr. Prudente. So, yung tara, edotech tayo. Ang layo-layo na po na ano niya. Na, nakarating nga po dito, eh, di ba? So, medyo mala, uh, malayo na po ang kanyang mga, ang kanyang narating. And then, I was able to, ano, I was able to get this badge. Yan yung, ano, uh, second to the last na badge. Okay, na, na pwede for an educator. Okay. And then also, nung July, just in time for my, kasi we started our uh, ODL classes in July 6. And then from July 6 to October 20, ito rin yung aking data gathering. Dito rin ako sa uh, So just in time, I was accepted to become a Google Certified Innovator. Kasi yung, 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 ano, yung Google Certified uh, Educator 1 and then 2, parang ina, ina, ano yung skills mo, tinatest yung skills mo. For trainer is, for, uh, yung Google Certified Trainer is yung ability mo to share to share to other people yung yung ano yung nagco-coach ka ng ibang tao or teachers. Ito namang innovator, ang aking entry dito kaya siya ay uh, what do you call this? Kaya napasok po ako dito is my dissertation proposal. Okay, 'di ba napakagaling, 'di ba? <laughs> okay, so uh, I sent my problem yung media literacy kasi sabi ko, "Uy, may problema pala ako sa media literacy approaches ng mga bata sa science class, sa physics class." So paano ko siya sasagutin? Paano ko siya ano yung mga gagawin ko, 'di ba? So aside from the literature that I read, Um, eh nag-ODL pa, so on so forth. So, ano, anong gagawin ko? So, nung July 6, uh, July 6, na, nag-start kami ng classes, and the same time, yung same week na rin yun, natanggap ako for Google Certified Innovator. And then, my entry there was the media literacy approaches. Okay, so yun. So, parang nakatulong talaga to sa akin. Kasi ang dami kong mga techniques, ang dami, ano, ang daming, ang daming mga taong uh, nag-iisip para sa akin. Wow, talaga para sa akin. <laughs> Sana all, di ba? Okay. So yesterday, <laughs> sorry na masyadong ano, masyadong ano na to ah. Pa, pa, pa ano na. Okay, so just yesterday we all nakatulog ako dito kasi ang aga eh, 4 AM eh, nang madaling araw. Um uh, I graduated from the Google Certified Innovators yesterday. Um and then marami siyang na marami siyang naitulong sa akin and then I'm going to share that in the next slide. Sana malapit na tayo matawa sa sorry ah. Okay, so uh, maybe you're wondering paano naka Paano paano ma ano paano paano niya nag Google I mean yung yung help ni Google uh, ni Google para sa road ng ano ng PhD ko na na inaasam-asam inaasam-asam ko okay am I going to translate kasi nasa audio lang tayo di ba uh, am I going to translate may existing materials ganun po uh, yung mga mga panelist ko po noong Tuesday noong February may mga materials po ako noon na, na ginawa but then the I, But then the ano yung months after that and during the pandemic it's so uncertain doon ko po ginugol lahat okay so instead of me translating my existing materials kasi yung po yung instruction sa akin nila doctor uh, uh, ng, ng, ng panel members ko just use my existing materials yun lang titingnan mo lang kung paano sa kung and then you improve those okay using the a certain frame, framework okay so uh, did i need to translate those so eto po ini share ko na rin so hindi mo siya i-translate so mapapa finger heart ka na lang talaga di ba mapapa finger heart ka na lang. okay so you, so instead of you instead of you translating yung mga existing materials that in mga teachers we need to transform it into an online distance learning okay set up okay so in my case the google or the google products the g suite 
tools and uh, platforms, they really help me in transforming my existing materials. Okay, so ganito siya. So, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano nagbago yun. So, I got, nung kahapon, nung while I'm doing this one, medyo, yun na, parang nakakaano lang na i-reminisce kung paano ko siya ginagamit. O, tingnan nyo po yan. That's dated 2014, 2015, 2016. Okay, so in 2016, tingnan nyo ha, 2016. Manta kayo nyo. I'm using the, I'm using the, Uh, ito ay portion lang, screenshot lang siya. But then when you review the, what do you call this? When you review the, may postings, doon ko lang nilalagay. Kunyari, um, attendance lang, posting lang ng um, PowerPoint, mga ganun ang ginagawa. Tapos lalagay ko lang doon yung problems, susagutan ng mga bata sa kapapin, sasagutan namin sa, sa classroom. Okay, so parang ganun lang siya. What else? Sigan nyo po dito sa, ano, sa upper left. Yan, photo essay, movie critic video. na pwede naman nilang i-submit dyan sa Google Classroom, pero pinapasunod ko sa kanila. Doon pa sa isa kong Gmail account. Di ba yung paggamit ko ng Gmail account dati, hindi ako marunong, ano, 2014, hindi pa uso naman yung Google, I mean, may Google Drive siya. I'm not sure if, if may Google Drive na yon. But then, 2014, gumawa pa ka ng separate email for the submissions of the kids kasi ayoko magkagulo yung, yung submissions nila. So, tas papost ko siya sa isang Google Classroom. Di ba? Parang, ano ba, um, Yun lang, parang na, na, nakakatuwa na napakalayo, uh, ano ba, na nag-improve yung mga practices ko. Kaka-ano, kaka-reflect. Okay? And then, yan, ganyan, 2014, 2015. Tapos, to this one, yan, 2019, yung isa sa uh, some of my screens. So, uh, nagiging, ano siya, nagiging, because uh, I remember uh, there is a, uh, a sharing from Dr. Mistades about yung paggamit ng Facebook as an LMS. So, nung 2019, last year yan, 2019, so parang sabi, nung tinignan ko yung mga previous na na Google Classroom, sabi ko, oh, as ko nagamit ko na pala siya. So, nagamit ko na pala siya as a discussion. Andun yung mga bata, tingnan nyo pa yung mga sinasabi nila. Tingnan nyo, uh, 81 class comments. Eh, sa Facebook nga, hindi ako nakaganyan ng comments. Eh, di ba? Dito lang. <laughs> Dito na ako na sa Google Classroom. Sabi ko, ibuti ba ito? Ang dami kong comments, di ba? Ang dami mong interaction, yan. Tapos, meron ako dyan. Uh, yan, yan. Invite so, down dyan. Oo, uh, oh, ganun. Wala nga lang like, di ba? <laughs> okay, so ano pa ba, ba? Ito na, ito na yung... Yung malapit na tayo sa ano, pag-PhD, yun. Oh, tama. So ito yung mga... From, from, the, from, a new, from a new user, so ganito ko na siya. So... dito ko na siya chinechikan, na ganyan nyo. Tapos, meron, nagbibigay ako ng private comments <coughs> na kanina sa mga bata. Diyan ako nagmamark ng ano, ng, ng works nila. I'll ask them to have consultation periods. Tingnan nyo rin yung ODL activities natin. Ang dami na. Yan, ang dami-dami. You can uh, categorize them. Di ba? Parang, galing na Google, di ba? Diyan na rin ako nag-evaluate. Tingnan nyo po doon, noong August 25. Yeah. So, just a random, yan. So, whenever I feel demotivated or exhausted, kasi ODL na share, hindi ko na, medyo feeling ko doon ako sa, ano eh, sa valuing pag nasa classroom mo, di ba, parang kakaiba siya, di ba? Pero ito naman po, eh, 40 class comments naman. Yan. Whenever I feel demotivated or exhausted, I usually revisit my goals in life. Just to have a quick break, may you share to the class what success might look like for you? Oh, so, yan, sharing kami ng klase ng hindi tungkol sa physics. Also, tingnan niyo po yung sa consultation periods ko. Doon po sa upper, uh, sa lower left. Okay, so it's for consultation periods. Ganito ginagawa ko sa data gathering ko. So, I'll ask this. Uh, yung sa, les- sa learning playlist nila, meron po akong separate na uh, na webinar po doon. Yan. Sana po ma-upload na. <laughs> okay, so nilalagay ko doon yung may iba't iba akong task cards. And then, hindi for... for For six weeks, hindi ako nag-lesson sa vertical motion, sa projecta- uh, sa vertical and horizontal motion. Uh, I'll just let them to navigate my playlist. And then after that, kung kung narin may classroom, meron kaming consultation period in the afternoon, I'll post in the Google Classroom yung mga tanong na nakalagay doon sa Google Forms. Doon sa mga nakatapos na sa task card na yun. So yun po yung ipap- yun po yung Uh, doon po mabubuhay yung klase namin in the consultation period. So, ganun na, ko na po siya ginagawa ngayon. Okay, so nandiyan po yung, yung pong mga sa task card one, uh, yung mga tanong ng mga bata in the, sa baba, ay yung mga tanong po sa baba, yung po ay mga tanong ng mga bata na nakita ko yung po sa Google Forms na, na, na napunta sa Google Sheets. And then I'll identify those students na may mga tanong sila, kung unti lang naman sila, I can uh, have a consultation period. 
Also here, sa right side ko naman, ito yung project nila sa performance task. Kasi ang ginawa ko, and also based on the literature, since it's very, I mean, it's be, very rare kasi yung, mag, yung, I mean, yung sa media literacy approaches, yung parang yeah. obvious mo siyang, obvious mo siyang i-integrate with the physics lesson. Parang hindi siya, parang siyang pilit. Okay, so nabasa ko sa mga literature and also attending mga webinars na yung media literacy approaches, since skills siya, dapat sa perform I mean uh, one way of integrating it is by means of uh, by means of what do you call this um, integrating those sa performance task okay so ito ay performance task nila okay so ayun po diyan kami nakikipag diyan ako nang usap ng sa mga bata and then their um, comments so, so on top okay so one way of collaboration also one of the distinct features nung ating um uh, ng at nung framework na pina-follow ko yung seven uh, C's learning design framework and also sa PDSA model is yung pagko-collaborate ng mga ng mga stakeholders o yung mga ng mga ng mga level partners mo ng mga ng mga students, mga parents. Pero yung mga parents kasi hindi ko pa sila naano ngayon. <laughs> Yung po yung baka next na cycle. Yan. So, I've attended a lot of yung sa mga coaching sessions. And then, I, and then as, may, as sa Filipino, di ba? Parang, parang yung you'll be able to to pitch to the to the, to the the group. Okay? So, mga classmates ko doon, sa mga fellow uh, Google Certified Innovators ko, yung problema na kinakarap ko. Okay? And then also, itong eight weeks kami dito eh. Eight weeks kami ano, nag-session. Talagang dugu-dugu talaga yung ano yung, yung ilong ko kaka-English talaga dito sa mga tao. Wala <laughs> magagaling sila. And then kung titingnan niyo dito sa so, uh, sa gitna na up, na left. Okay, I was able to to share it with one of my uh, buddies there. Yung po sa problem, yung po sa problem ko sa media literacy. Also the brainstorming sa so upper right natin. So pinakita ko diyan, yan papakita ko, bibigay ko naman yung PDF, yan makikita niyo doon yung mga comments ng mga Uh, fellow uh, innovators ko, kung paano ko, kung paano ko na-integrate yung media literacy approaches sa aking, uh, sa aking instructions. Also, uh, yung mga bata, I ask them to, I, I do virtual visits, uh, I ask them to to pair up, okay, uh, tapos they, they'll need, uh, they'll generate their own Google Meet links. Di ba parang sa atin, sa classroom natin, di ba, uh, we'll give them problems, tapos iikot tayo, And then we monitor that. So, eh, ODL na siya. So, ganito ko siya ginawa. Okay. So, I asked, uh, predetermined na mga physics bodies nila. And a physics body na list. And then after that, I pupunta na lang ako during our synchronous session. Okay. Pupunta na lang ako doon habang nag-discuss sila. Okay. Now, this one, last two slides na to. Yan. Okay. So, um, paano? Just to reiterate lang, paano nakatulong sa akin ang Google or my road to, P- to PhD? As I said earlier, yung levels 1 and 2, I encourage also everyone para mang ma- marami kayong matutunan eh. Napaka, napakahiwaga niya. Okay, so um, levels 1 and level 2, ito yung nag-test sa akin, yung, yung pumanday sa akin in my skills in terms of technological skills. Also, yung pagiging trainer is helping other teachers. Nakita niyo naman po na mga, mga libre po yun ha. Walang pakate yun. <laughs> Pero syempre para, para syempre kung ikaw po ay knowledgeable on this one, Uh, it will be better if you're going to share it to your, to, to, your, ano, to your fellow educators. And also, yan, yung, yung Google for Educators, uh, Innovator, kasi dito ko naibigay yung, ano, yung problema. Eh. Di ba parang nag-iba yung thing ko dito sa Google kasi sabi ko, ay, akala ko technical skills lang siya. Ay, akala ko for helping others lang. But then, uh, Innovator, ang dami ko nagbuka siya ng iba't ibang problema. Kasi I was able to, ano, I was able to uh, to hear also the the problems of the other teachers around the world okay yung mga nakapasok sa innovators and also this uh, in this case rin lagi na lang akong lagi na lang akong share kasi kasi yung parang yung iba naka on na sa covid okay tayo <laughs> nag face to face sila or uh, what do you call this meron silang mga mga hybrid na approach nila sa sa pagpasok ng bata sa in our case kasi hindi tayo pwedeng pumasok diba so ito parang nagbuka siya sa akin ng mga problems sa buong kung sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. Okay. Ayun, yun, gan- ganun siya naka ganun siya naka naka-help sa akin. And also, yeah, bago magano, syempre may valuing tayo, di ba? Okay, so ito yung ano ko sa inyo, ito yung uh, may share ko sa inyo. Ito ay 
hindi ko rin sa akin nang galing narinig ko lang siya somewhere yan so i want everyone to be ano there i want everyone to think like a winner na pag nasa loob tayo ng classroom as a teacher mo dalas akin research ang goal champion ay parang you're the yung parang ano yung goal champion diba yun yung ano eh yun yung tawag sa atin so you think like a winner you think like na you got this diba na kaya natin na parang teacher nga tayo eh diba yung parang when we is that's that's our that's our ano that's our that what that's our strength when we inspire students diba in a in a face to face eh mas lalo pa ngayon ngayong pandemic na uh, na since magaling tayo sa pag-inspire ng mga bata bakit hindi natin siya gamitin itong uh, OGL classes na makapag-inspire pa rin bakit pag-inspire tayo para yung mga bata ay matuto pa rin okay yung yung magkaroon sila ng pag-asa ng kumpiyansa okay na matututo sila and then they'll they'll ano they'll they'll uh, turn to be ano uh, successful individuals be with winners syempre punta na kay sa PNU yeah <laughs> PNU at sa Lasal yeah so be with winners um makipag-usap tayo sa mga taong alam nating uh, makakatulong sa atin magpalago makakatulong sa atin uh, para maka 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 move forward dito sa pandemic and also yan ah, sorry ah okay so be interesting yan <laughs> Be interesting, uh, medyo malikot yung pag-iisip ko. Yan. Yeah, no? So kayo rin, yung parang I would suggest na um, ikaw, yung ikaw sarili mo. Uh, just be just be yourself. Okay, uh, hindi ako ma-post sa FB. Yan, yeah, no? minsan lang ako ma-post pati ganyan yung post ko. Yan. Yeah. Uh, medyo may pagka-mystery sa pero ma 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 chat niyo naman ako. Yeah. So, just be interesting yan. Yeah. And then have a power presentation. Siyempre, di ba parang tayo tayo pa rin tayo pa rin ng uh, when you when I when I was invited on this one sabi ko hindi tayo mga panelist so di ba parang kailangan ano kailangan worth it worth it yung pag invite nila sa akin and when you face your classmate uh, when you face your ano your classes dapat dapat laban ka parang dapat dapat pinagandaan mo hindi yung nagmukang naapektuhan ka dahil sa kabi-kabi lang pambabatiro sa mga perfect na tao di ba parang hindi ka pa 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 Yes, you are the teacher, you are the champion, you are the winner. Okay? And then, yan. Yeah. Retreat talaga ito, hindi talaga ito webinar. Last na ito. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Siyempre, hindi matapos din yung, ano, hindi matapos din yung ating, um, yung pasabog yan. Yeah. Siyempre, yung araw, papapunta siya doon. Okay? Siyempre, um, before 20, yun, ito po yung aking dasal. So, <laughs> so, um, uh, yun po, yun po yung journey ko sa, ano, and, yun po, maraming po salamat. Wala na akong masabi. <laughs> Mga kaya po po yung masabi. Maraming salamat po. Um, and thank you, thank you for, ano, thank you for inviting me here. Tsaka balak pa naman natin. Pwede bang mag, ano tayo, ano tayo naman. Balak pa natin sila, Dr. Dita, sila, Dr. Aguha, Dr. Uh, Prodente, na grabe ha, every Monday, two hours, hindi biro yun ha. O gusto ang meet natin yung mic natin. Balak pa natin sila. Yeah. Thank you po, Dr. Aguha. Okay. Thank you. Salamat po. Salamat po. Salamat po sa inyo lahat. Mapuhay na ka talaga. Salamat po. Grabe ito si John. Thank you, John. Salamat po ng tao. Thank you po. Taas ng energy level ni John. Oo. Ganyan talaga yan. Salamat po. 11 over 10 ang energy level ni John. Salamat po. Salamat po. Thank you, John. Go, go lang. Salamat po. Thank you, John. You're so good. Salamat po. Salamat po. Sige, sige. Okay, so at this point, we open the floor to Q&A. If you have any questions, comments, it could be anything for John or for the other experts here. Can I raise the first question? I just want to clarify, John. John? Yes, Pudo. Are you using Potter's Media Literacy Theory? Yung pong updated doc, Eris T and Eridim in 2017. That's the one that I adopted. Can you read also John Potter's Media Literacy? He has a book on media literacy published by Sage. All right. Uh, para hindi mo ma-overlook baka there are some points there that you can include in your dissertation. Thank you, Bob. John, we will, I, I'll be reading some of the questions that have been uh, sent in the chat box. Okay, this one yes, is Bob. coming from Renz Alvin Gabay. What do you mean by practically non-significant result? Uh, okay, so I, 
yung sa first round I, I was able to discuss it statistically if you uh if you what do you call this uh if you applied uh, statistical treatment so kapag umokay siya sa sa mga sa mga standards natin so it's it's uh, statistically significant practically significant is it depends on your of, of your school's um standard or in sa DepEd kunwari kunwari ganito uh what is what is 60% of 10 10 points so 6 points siya so 6 points over 10 that's the that's the time when you consider the score of the student as as passed okay but then in my case uh isa kunyari ang pretest niya ay 1 kunyari lang yun yung mean 1 tapos 4 yung post test niya that's statistically okay yung yung result niya so that's statistically significant but not practically significant kasi 6 out of 10 yung dapat na score natin. Okay? Yun po ba? Sana mal- malinaw po yun. Yan. Clear <laughs> naman. At, 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 at ang nagturo po sa akin noon ay yung mga sila Dr. Brando. Yan. So kapag malito po siya yung CCA. Mag-mali. Red Slamer. Renz, type in your follow-up question, ha? Huh? Okay, if there is. Uh, okay, thank okay. you, uh, John. This is coming from ProSale Miguel. Can you update my Google Forms learning playlist, Sir John? <laughs> okay, is, is that supposed to be? Uh, oh, that's not a question. question. That's a request. Uh, <laughs> that's a request. Ah, umu ka na sa hot seat ka ngayon, John. Nakalagay na yun sa uh, uh, public on uh, online lectures. So uh, umu na daw siya from still. Umu na daw si. <laughs> Pipilitan ka. Sa aking uh, PROC, Miss Pro, yan. Mm-hmm. Tapos, I see, okay. Ano, <laughs> but it's sobrang busy lang. Uh, we have any questions here. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at the chat box right now. Mukhang overwhelmed ang ating mga participants, okay? Looks, looks like they're really happy. Uh, but if you have any questions, please do uh, type them in. No, no. Sige. Ibang level daw si Sir John. Oo, ibang level. Si Dr. Brando, yan. Puro yun ang sinasabi. Thank you, Lodi. Ibang level si Sir John. Uh-oh. Any other questions? Uh, para maganda yung ating uh, balitaktakan. Yeah, uh, there's one from Alvin in Soryo. Alvin is our regular attendee of our charm. Hi, Alvin. How did you establish the trustworthiness of your study in master's degree since you use qualitative data? Ay, napaka-heavy. Napaka-heavy nun, ha? Uh, what I did was yung template. Okay, so... Hindi ko alam kung ito po yung sagot sa tanong niya. Minsan po yung mga tanong po. <laughs> well, actually, I made use of the uh, kay, uh, yung thematic analysis nung time na yun. Uh, natutunan ko rin sa 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 PNU yung pag uh, pag pag-reduce ng themes. Now, filtering. Ano ba ang pagtanong pagsasagot ko? <laughs> How did you establish? Yun po. Yun, yun uh, ah, alam ko na. So I made use of their uh, journal responses and after that I identified those students so upper 10% and then lower 10%. So para 'di ba doon sa ating kung nakikita kung tayo po yung mga solid charmer, 'di ba, yung mga three E's natin, 'di ba? Inquiring and then uh, evidences and then experience. Okay. So uh, so aside pa doon sa journal responses nila, tinignan ko pa yung mga responses by means of post individual interviews doon sa mga nakakuha ng mga matataas or mga top Four or top 10 at top 6 and then yung lower 6. Okay, so marami akong mga evidences na na kinuhaanan po ng ganun. So sana po nasagot ko kung yung po talaga yung hinahanap. Okay. Okay na po ba? <laughs> May classic pa po ako mamaya. <laughs> <laughs> mamaya pa naman eh. Start <laughs> ko ng first one namin. Yeah. Okay, can you see here? Yeah. Salamat, salamat Jan. There's uh, okay. a question coming from Riza Langit. Hello Sir Jan, what advice can you give to those who have not tried doing action research? Ito po yung usual lahat yung mga questions. Ano? Uh, anyway, we have here Dr. Prudente and Dr. Aguha and andyan din si na okay, Dr. Uh, Josephine De Leon. Marami tayong mga experts dito, no? specifically in choosing a research topic. Okay, okay so ganito po, ano, ha? ganito po mga attendees. Ha? Um, sabi ko nga sa inyo, napaka, ano ba, napaka allergic ako sa English, allergic ako sa pagsusulat. Okay, so, but then, I, 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 uh, I, 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 everything started with the decision kasi. 
with the decision kung paano mo i-help yung sarili mo. So, um, bumalik ako ng PNU, pumasok ako sa Lasal, and then, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, di ba, be with winners. Okay, so I, I believe na yung mga classmates ko, yung mga classmates ko, mga shoutout naman sa mga classmates ko, di ba, parang napaka, napaka heaven niya isipin, napapasok ka sa classroom pagkatapos ng kumain, or you are, uh, what do you call this, you are waiting for your professor. Na ang pinag-uusapan niyo ay ano, ay, naka, naka-attend ka ba sa webinar, uh, sa seminar na ganito? Uh, ay, naka-ano ka ba? Nakapag-publish ka ba ng, nakapag-publish ka pa ng ganito? Um, magpapasa ka ba sa ganito? Di ba parang pagpapasa ka sa isang classroom and you are, uh, you are surrounded. Okay? Kasi nandiyan pa si Dr. Prudente, yung mga professor niyo. You are surrounded with people na sa tingin, na, na mga winners, mga winners. So, you'll get in, yung parang may inspire ka. Okay, so parang kilig ko kasi doon siya nag-uumpisa eh. Yung sa decision mo, and then when you are inspired to do it, and then you'll get ideas from your from your ano, from your classmates. But then, gaya ng isa kong classmate rin, nag-ask rin siya when he presented about a a, a topic, a ano, a, a title. Sabi ko, sabi namin sa kanya ng isang classmate, sabi namin sa kanya, um, kung sa tingin mo, kung yun yung naging problema mo, yun yung action research, 'di ba? Yun yung yun yung pinaka ano, pinaka main pinaka main root niya. Hindi ka titingin sa iba, hindi ka titingin kung anong gusto, hindi ka titingin kung ano yung gusto ng classmate mo, hindi ka titingin kung ano ang trending ngayon, so on so forth. Titingin ka sa sarili mo. Titingin ka, ano ba yung problem? Kunyari, in my case, nahirapan ako sa projectile motion. Ang tagal ko lang, ang daan ko sa iyo, ano bang, ano bang mali? Parang projectile motion, lagi na lang akong tapos supported pa ng mga literature. Di ba? Parang sabi ko, ay, yung projectile motion talaga, nahirapan yung mga bata dyan. So, I would suggest, dun sa, yun, sa ating nagtanong, ay Uh, you start first with your own practices. Diba? Kasi ganun yung action research. Eh. Um, pag mamimili ka ng iba, hindi siya sa'yo. Parang hindi nang galing sa'yo. Diba? Dapat you determine it yourself kung ano yung problema sa practice. Sa practice. Yun, yun lang po. Yun, correct yan ha. Okay. <laughs> Nakapapan ako dito ibang webinar ito. Dito yung mga panel ko. Yun. <laughs> tama, tama, tama. Yun. Okay, sige po. Yun po. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, sige. So, we have a couple more questions here, Jan, ha? Okay lang. Sige, sige. Uh, this is coming from Brando Palomar. Ala, patay. <laughs> <laughs> the consistency of the student's journal responses somehow established the trustworthiness of the results. Ah, nag-comment siya. Yeah, tama, tama. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, Siyempre, uh, advice sir, yun, hindi yung papayag daw, ha? Ah, I see. Okay, so sinusuportahan ka naman pala ni sir. So oh, this is oh, coming yeah. from Eric Jan DL. Uh, can you share more about the NXGBL? What are the okay, key factors so, of this uh, approach? And yeah, thank you in advance. Okay, so uh, a classmate of mine, yung batchmate ko, also asked this one eh, sa akin. Okay, so sabi niya, ano mo pinagkaiba ng NXGBL na program niyo? Sa ibang, ano, eh, lahat naman gumagamit ng, uh, lahat naman gumagamit ng, uh, what do you call this? ng LMS. Now, based on ano, based on literatures kasi in 2017 na, ah, 2017 and even in my ano, in my in my own experience na kita niyo naman yung mga postings ko. Kailan lang ba kuminan, 'di ba? Kailan ba kuminan yung mga postings ko sa Google Classroom mga 2018, 2019? Kasi kami mismo, kami kami sa Zobel, although alam namin na NXGBL siya, pero wala kaming masyadong malinaw pa na grasp kung ano ba talaga yung NXGBL. But then, uh, as a sharing, yung LMS, the key Uh, the key idea there is dapat yung LMS mo ay hindi siya isang palamute. Okay? Hindi siya, hindi yeah, lang siya, okay? So, dapat yun yung main mo. Andun yung, uh, uh, yung, uh, nag, nakita nyo ba yung, ano ko, yung kanina, yung limang domains, uh, the tools there must interoperate, integrated mm-hmm. sa ibang uh, applications, dapat may analytics, dapat so, may feedback, ano ba ba, dapat universal so kahit ikaw ay uh, kahit ikaw ay 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 pilay ikaw ay bulag ikaw ay uh, ikaw ay isang athlete ikaw ay may karamdaman so it must be universal uh, merong collaboration and dapat ano siya uh, dapat ay selfish siya na, na learning meron kasi akong separate na webinar for that yung self yung ano kayong learning playlist ko kung gusto niyo nga i-share ko muna joke lang okay so meron ako mga learning playlist na yung mga bata yung mga bata mamimili sila ng iba't ibang task cards di ba yeah. task card 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 kung gusto nila mag-start sa task 6 bahala sila, okay, task 5, bahala sila, task 2, bahala sila. 
And then after that, yung mga Google Forms, ay nako napaka-trabahong gawin noon. Pero pa-present ko na lang sa final proposal, ay final defense ko, na yung bawat tanong sa isang Google Forms, meron siyang tama o maling sagot, and then you have a feedback. Di ba? Parang, so yun yun, yun, yun yung mga key features noon. So feedback, uh, integrate, interoperate, self-paced or personalized, may analytics, may uh, may collaboration. Nakita niyo mga kanina, may nag-collaborate na bata. And it must be universal or and accessible to all. Yun, yun, yun po yung mga key features na. Okay, so sana na po. Sana po, sana po payagin na po akong ano, mag-klase next month. <laughs> mag-klase sa hapon. Meron po akong klase sa hapon. Okay. Yun po, sana po nasagot ko po yun. Ang gulo na po ng buko. Sorry. <laughs> so, John, oh, sige. Uh, mm-hmm. sige. Hyper so, talaga yun si John. Uh, hyper talaga si John. Okay, sige. This is coming from Brown. Uh, okay. Define the functionality of the LMS features available to address the students' needs. Wait lang. Is this, this is yata connected with another question. Uh-huh. Okay. Define the functionality of the LMS features available to address the students' needs. Looks like it's a command to you, John. Tama po ba, Sir Brando? Or is, is it a request? Or is it a, a side comment? Define the function. Uh, when, I, when, I, uh, when I designed the, the ODL materials uh, during my data gathering, I actually followed the UDL, the Universal Design Learning, uh, Learning Framework. So, dapat meron doon, meron doong, uh, it provides multiple, multiple, multiple action representations. Ayun, uh, representation, uh, representation lessons. lessons, yan, the what, why, so on and so forth. So, ganun ko siya, ganun ko siya uh, di, uh, dinesign. Dinesign. Okay? okay, so based doon sa mga available features ni Google, kasi nagkaroon kami ng, uh, nagkaroon kami ng, ano, nagkaroon kami ng, ng survey na limited lang kasi due to uh, data privacy breach trend. Uh, nagiging limited yung, ano namin, yung galaw namin. For instance, our video conferencing will be about Uh, will be uh, Google Meet lang, Meet link lang. Yun yung pwede namin gamitin. Also, our uh, common platform will be the Google Classroom. Okay, so gano. So, yung yung itong mga functionality, for instance, for instance, Sir Brando, uh, the collaborative features na Google Docs, Google uh, Slides, and then Google Google Sheets. Nagagamit ko yun when I ask my students, for instance, to fill out something, uh, to pair up themselves, to generate Google Meet uh, links, Also, kapag na-identify ko yung sudyante na marami silang tanong at nakikita ko doon sa exit ticket scores nila na mababa sila, I usually look uh, I usually look for their email and then I invite them for a, a separate consultation period. Para nakaano siya, para para na-address ko yung uh, yung specific needs ng mga bata. Okay, but then I, I would like to share pala ganito ha. I'd like to share noong after three weeks, ay nagkaroon na ako ng free learning playlists. And then, uh, one learning playlist. Kaya naintindihan ko po yung mga teachers ngayon. So, hindi ko po alam kung meron po tayo dito mga big bossing ng DepEd. Yan. Kasi yung module nila, I, I, I learned that it's per week. Okay? Originally, my learning playlists are designed for a week. Okay? So, ganun. Pero, syempre, doon ko na na-realize na it turned out that yung learning playlist 1, 2, 3 ko, I think to 2 weeks siya. Okay? So, ganun ang nangyayari sa amin. Think to 2 weeks siya. Tapos, nung ika-third week na, Okay, hindi eh, kasi ano eh, may isa pa projectile motion pa, parang may vert- may motion descriptors ako, vertical, horizontal, learning uh, may motion graphs pa ako. And then the last one yung projectile motion, nagano na ako doon, nag uh, yung experience ko po to, ah, nag breakdown na po ako doon kasi ano ba, ah, sobrang hirapan na ako sa paggagawa ng learning playlist because before, it's it's like this. Parang um, you have a class in a few minutes and then you'll do your edit edit ka lang ng powerpoint mo doon mo ilala doon doon ka mag-iisip at the time but in this time when you release your learning playlist nag-iisip ka for a for a week one week mo siya iniisip na okay tapos na yung bata dito ano na yung next na gagawin niya okay may mga advance kasi mga yung mga ano ko yung mga activities ko may optional na magwo-watch sila may video rin ako may optional silang gumawa ng ganito uh, depende syempre pag advance yung bata gusto niya maraming examples okay so meron ako mga eh, siyempre, yung mga additional examples mo naman, hindi mo naman ilalagay lang doon eh. Pag-iisipan mo rin siya. Kailangan mo rin siyang pag-aralan kung it targets the, the same set of competencies. ba? Diba? Parang, parang ano siya, nung ika-third learning playlist na or after six weeks. So, two months po kasi akong data gathering. Talagang parang naiyak na ako doon. Nagkaroon ako ng break, 
uh, nag-breakdown na ako. Tapos nag-breakout na rin yung mga pimples ko. <laughs> okay. okay, so sabi ko, you know, ito pa naman yung, ano, yung, yung investment ko. Joke lang. Okay, so, <laughs> so, uh, what do you call this? So, yun po, kung may mga, may mga big bosses po tayo dyan, baka yung isang module ay pwede natin gawing two weeks or one and a half weeks. Kasi sa amin, andun na lahat. Feeling ko, nandun na lahat. Eh. Pinag-isipan na doon eh. It, hindi lang tatapos ng bata eh. And then, of course, di ba, maging, uh, maging practical ka at that time, hindi siya doable in a week. Okay? So kahit sayang yung mga pinaghirapan mo, gano'n. Tapos ang hirap niyang isipin kasi week mo siya iisipin. Hindi siya daily basis unlike before. Right? So sana nakapag-share ako na maayos. Na <laughs> sana nasagot ko kung ano man yung ano, yan. Po sa aking, ano, shout out po sa aking previous uh, coordinator bago po ako nag-study dito. Si, si Miss Millet at si Dola po. Ayan, Miss Millet. Yeah. <laughs> siya po yung recent na nag ano, na, siya po yung coordinator ko dati. Yeah. Ay po. <laughs> May uh, shout out pa talaga. Shout out po. Siyempre mga mentors ko. Yeah, mga importante <laughs> sa buhay ko. Diba? Uh, this is coming from Kenneth Ian uh, Batak, also a regular attendee, also a charmer, okay? Oh, Solid charmer. Oh, oh, oh. What pieces of advice can you give to the teachers and students who are transitioning from face to face to online so that they will feel they will not feel overwhelmed in teaching and learning online? Mga uh, what I could of wisdom mo dyan dyan. Sige na. Oh, man, talaga. Ano motivational speaker talaga. <laughs> okay, so what I could suggest is ganito kasi Siyempre, uh, uh, this is a common problem ng mga first few weeks ng ODL natin. Eh. Uh, masyado tayong excited, mga teachers. Bigay tayo ng ganito, bigay tayo ng ganyan. And then the teachers, uh, and then the students who are the end users, sila yung nahihirapan. Okay, so tayo, ang dami natin natutunan sa webinars, ang dami natin nakausap, ang dami na attend, uh, kompleto sa attendance sa uh, pa-webinar ko. Joke lang. <laughs> okay, so... so So, nagig- uh, I would suggest na ganito ang gagawin. Mag-usap-usap. And that's one of the key features of 7 Seas Learning Design Framework. Mag-usap-usap yung mga teachers in a level. Okay, kunyari itong uh, STEM. Kunyari yung STEM strand natin. Mag- uh, kunyari, ayon na teachers tayo sa, sa STEM strand. Magkailangan natin mag-usap. Okay, kailangan natin mag-collaborate. Kung kailan tayo. Kunyari, yung first three subjects muna ang mag-release ng learning playlist. And then the... The other three ay magkakaroon sila ng lecture, uh, synchronous lecture session. Kasi ang ang nangyayari kasi sa amin, pag may learning playlist ako, nagkakaroon lang ng consultation period. So hindi ako nag-lecture. So for vertical and horizontal, hindi ako nag-lecture doon. Nag-lecture lang ako nung nag-breakdown na ako, nung nag, uh, nag-projectile motion na ako. So, pero at the, uh, so ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ma-regulate yung uh, Sir Kenneth, kailangan natin ma-regulate yung pag-release natin ng mga materials natin. At kailangan natin siyang pag-isipan. Kailangan natin pag-isipan in such a way na paano pag tayo yung estudyante. 'Di ba? Parang ang, ang mangyayari kasi ko kunyari, uh, nung first week talaga namin, uh, guilty po ang mga Zobel teachers here. Lahat kami nung first week namin, lahat kami playlist kami ng playlist. Okay? At nararamdaman naman yung mga bata, nagsha-share sila yung mga bata na ang daming playlist good for one week and then what? Um, at the end of the week it should be accomplished. So on so forth. Eh paano pag ganito? Paano pag kunyari dalawa muna na teachers ang uh, magle-learning playlist? Isang full length learning playlist and consultation period. And then the other two, mag, ano sila, mag-offline activities sila. And then the other two, kunyari, anim kayo. Okay, offline. Tapos yung isa naman ay mag uh, uh, learning playlist. And then yung isa naman ay mag-full length uh, synchronous lecture session. Diba? So kailangan, ang key dito, teachers, ang key talaga dito ay kailangan natin mag-usap-usap. Okay, kasi dumating rin sa point ng, ng, ano, ng Zobel, ng ODL namin, na yung mga bata, nagsishare sila, may mga nakausap akong advisors, na pera namang week, dahil naging um, considerate tayo mga teachers, di ba yun yung ano natin, ang ating pampanalo yon naging considerate yung mga teachers, may isang week naman na parang walang halos ginagawa yung mga bata. Naghihintay lang sila ng synchronous lecture session. Kasi yung mga teachers, hindi sila nagbigay ng learning period. Kasi ang isipin ni teacher PE, ay ano, sa general physics, nagbigay na siya ng learning playlist. Uh, si basic calc, nag, ano na siya, nagbigay na siya ng playlist. Eh, isipin nyo, eh, hindi naman alam ni eh, paano pag ganun rin inisip ni basic calc? Paano pag ganun inisip ni physics? Na, ay, hindi rin magbibigay si PE. So, hindi ako mag... Uh, ay, magbibigay si PE. So, hindi ako magbibigay. Di ba? Parang ganun. Parang siyang, para siyang kailangan natin i-schedule siya. Schedule natin kung kung kailan tayo mag-release ng mga heavy na work. Okay? And then, dapat it must be a balance. So, kailangan may heavy, may mid, or yung medyo yung isa offline siya na pwedeng 
magkaroon tayo ng malaking consideration kung hindi matapos yun. Yun lang po yung isasuggest ko. Para yung mga bata, hindi sila ma-overwhelm. Hindi? Yun po. Uh, uh, yun lang po. Sana makatulong yun. Kasi yun po yung sinasuggest ko. And then also, may may first round nung aking work, nung ano, nung mga reflections ng mga bata. Ito, ito po yung mga senior ko rin po to sa aking mga senior high school faculty. So, the students, they prefer um, uh, created contents sa uh, ng mga teachers. So, ibig sabihin, parang hindi nila masyado na-appreciate yung mga videos na kinuha lang sa mga YouTube, yung mga videos na kinuha lang somewhere. So, gusto nila si teacher. Si teacher ang... Uh, ako may... Karoon ako ng tatlong videos doon. Okay. <laughs> Mayroon siya gawin, ha? Okay. And then, ano pa ba? Um, kaila, uh, gusto nila ng created, curated videos ni teacher. And then, they prefer... They prefer na magkaroon ng... Uh, ng shortened playlist with uh with consultation periods. Okay pa ba? Dalaw, lima yun eh. Lima yun eh. And then, oh, nakalimutan ko na. Okay, lima yun, lima yun. Nakalagay yun sa dissertation uh, table ko. So, kaila, um, ayan, uh, teacher guide, uh, teacher's guidance and um, uh, what do you call feedback. this? Um, uh, feedback. Yun ang gusto nila. Kasi gusto nila yung mabilisan ganun. Um, also na na-adapt ko rin yung kay ano eh, kay Dr. Palomar. Yan. Kasi si Dr. Palomar ano eh, um, nung nagtitesis ako, for course hindi ako sure sa ano ko, ako po ay neophyte pa lang naman, no? Oh, neophyte. Okay, so may medyo may mga ibang hindi ako alam, hindi naman po ako ma-research na tao. So I I ask uh, Dr. Palomar. Tas ang ang good thing kay Dr. Palomar ay sumasagot siya. So parang sabi ko yung advisor ko nga ganun, uh, sumasagot uh, sumasagot siya, ginagay niya ako, we'll meet somewhere. Naalala ko sa Paranaque, Maxes pa yun, uh, or Starbucks ata kami noon. Tapos, kukol siya sa akin kahit gabi-gabi na. So, parang sa akin, yung ibang tao nga eh. Di ba yung mentor ko nga eh, um, ginagawa sa akin. So, why not? Sa akin kasi, uh, met- students messaging me in the um, parang gabi na or in the morning, just as long as ready akong sagutin siya or, or libre naman ako. It's not a problem para sa akin ha. Para para sa akin parang parang it's it's by way of paying forward. Paying it paying, paying it forward doon sa mga taong hindi naman ako consider na uh, abala para sa kanila. So gusto din sa mga estudyante. So for me ha, iba-iba naman tayo. So so for me I would suggest na kung pwede naman na 7 7 p.m. 8 a.m. Uh, 8 p.m. kung pwede ka namang sumagot, eh, sasagutin mo rin naman siya in the in the next day, di ba? It, it's up to you. Okay ba? But sa akin hindi siya hindi siya ano, hindi siya hindi siya issue sa akin for sa akin. Yung yun lang po, ipisa iba po, hindi ko po alam. <laughs> okay, so ganoon po. Yung po salamat po. Ang haba naman ng mga comments dito. Okay. Salamat, John. Uh, there's salamat another po. question from Sir Chanilo uh, Saldon. He's also a regular attendee. He's a uh, uh, avid charmer. <laughs> Thank you for your lecture. I'll improve the way I organize my Google Classroom, but I wish to ask your advice on this. We are now in week two of our classes in public school. Our MDL printed learners opt to submit photos of their outputs via Facebook Messenger as they have limited internet connectivity to have them submitted uh, via Google Classroom, Drive, Forms, or even email. However, they appear to be very messy and taxing for teachers. Can you suggest a better way or organized way of submitting outputs via Messenger? Okay. <laughs> Everyone can actually contribute. This is a very good discussion, yes. And okay, ang hirap, ang hirap pong sagutin. Oh, ang hirap pong sagutin para sa akin to. Kasi uh, one of the key features din ng isang next-gen blended learning environment ay yung infrastructure niya sa internet ay kailangan, it's given. Hindi siya, hindi siya, I mean, it's a, it's an essential, it's an essential requirement for a, for a next-gen na yung connectivity issues ay hindi, I mean, there, I mean, connectivity, kung may issues man, napakaliit lang niya. Okay, so hindi siya main. So dito talaga, talagang, kung meron pong nakakaalam kung paano pong gagawin to, actually kapag mahina na internet, dyan po ang aking weakness ko siya na sasagutin. Kasi uh, hindi po ako nasanay na, na mabagal internet. Yun po. So hindi ko po alam talaga, <laughs> Sir Chonilo. Hindi ko po alam kung ganyan. So, well, well, kung kunwaring nasa place nyo ako, ay, nasa place po ako ng mga public uh, school teachers, Um, ang hirap niya talaga. Sobra talagang ang puso ko po ay nasa public school teachers. Uh, ang hirap niya eh. Ang hirap niya kasi wala naman siyang 
sa Google Classroom kasi it portfolio. will automatically it will ayun yeah, pwedeng ganyan yung portfolio tama tama uh, portfolio yung uh, submit mag submit sila since they 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 decided to have it yung MDL tama ba ko yung modular approach by so, week pwede perhaps ganun oh we can uh, you can ask them for ano for portfolio Mm-mm. thank you po Dr. Agu <laughs> Marami rin niya. There are also a lot of uh, uh, ideas here dito sa ating chat box. Self-checking is one. We can give them scheduled day and a specific time to simultaneously submit. Uh, MS Teams also helps me organize my student files. Or parent mag-check. Nakadepend sa honesty nila. Uh, Noel Psycho says, I think if students can be able to access and upload photos in FB Messenger, they can also access Google Drive or Form, also available as mobile app. Mobile. Yeah. Para mas ma- ma- mas madali kasi mag-check sa Google Drive, okay? Kasi yes po, people, tama po. So, that's right. I mean, if they can access uh, FB, they can also access Google Drive. Yun nga lang kasi may may free data kasi ang uh, Messenger, ang Google Drive wala yata. That's the other thing. So, if you use the Google Drive, that means you need to spend a little na dun sa inyong data or something. Whereas ang Messenger kasi kung minsan may free uh, data. Pero pwede siguro if they use Gmail. Through Gmail, mag-create ka ng Google Drive. Pero that means you have to train the teachers and the students. Mm-hmm. Pag may, may Gmail account na sila, I mean, automatic my... Automatic yun. Google, Google Drive. Drive. Okay. And the submission really is more convenient. The checking is more convenient through Google Drive. Yeah. Yung folder na yun, I mean, when you check it, okay, next, next, next ka na lang. It's, it's easier. The commenting and everything is easier. So I hope we can teach also our students to mm-hmm. maximize the use of Google Drive. Everyone is into Gmail now. Wala na yatang okay. nag Kung meron man, kukunti na lang. Like everyone mm-hmm. is into Gmail. So which means everyone has access to Google Drive. So if, if we can just teach our students how to maximize the potentials of Google Drive, that would be uh, very yeah. good for both teachers and students. Mm-hmm. Well, Although of late, Facebook has also added some features oh, that can be used for classroom purposes. Google Rule. Kasi talagang ma-FB ma- ang Filipinos eh. Mm-hmm. We did a survey on the ano, applications. Uh, 85% of Filipinos, regardless of age, use FB. Mm-hmm. Kaya medyo sikat talaga yung messenger. That's probably why the depth is using messenger. But asking the students to take a picture and post it in Messenger will also add some memory or data which may affect the transmission. So maybe you can think of something more simple and, you know, less memory. Uh, practically, the knowledge of uh, converting uh, files, diba? it affects the transmission, right, John? So, kunwari, it transmit mo as another file, like PDF. Pero that requires, again, training. Yun sinasabi yeah. natin. Media literacy. Yes, po. Uh, the, I'd like to add, uh, because the participants might, uh, I would like for the purpose of those who are not familiar with De La Salle Subel, no? De La Salle Subel is one of the basic education schools of the De La Salle University system. And as you have heard from John, they have adopted technology long, long ago compared with us now who are just starting, no? In 2013, I, correct me if I'm wrong about the dates, John. They have already the technology plan. So uh, it's successful these days because the teachers have been properly trained. Correct. The students are fully aware of the different applications, applications and programs. programs. No, so so for, for this kind of technology-enabled next generation blended learning to happen requires infrastructural support and support from the administration in the context of faculty training and development and Hi, exposure, well, exposure of the students also. Yes, Dr. Agu? No, I'm, I'm looking at Sky. Pasensya na po. A sky is there. Ayan si Josephine, meron na rin siyang aso doon sa kanyang. Pasensya na po. Kanina pa ako kinukulit mag-aalas 12 na kasi oo nga. Oh. <laughs> Anday pa nating comments dito. I, I understand the plight of our public school teachers. I know how difficult it is for them to access uh, 
you know, this mm -hmm. everything. I hope we can have another discussion on that, but it's already 11.51 and John has been telling us that he has class. So, okay. looks <laughs> like John, But we can look at the the chat box. We have very, yeah, very insightful exchange of ideas here, okay? Like everyone is commenting and sharing their insights about the topic at hand. That's, that's very nice of all the participants. Okay, we are learning from each other. That's great. Liz, can you Kind of flash the certificate yes. of appreciation. Okay, uh, sorry, John Magalong. Again, John, thank you very much. Okay, for the very insightful exchange of ideas you're sharing. Okay, I, I'm very sure all our participants have uh, learned a lot from your sharing today. Okay, uh, Dr. Bing, would you do the honors? Okay, De La Salle University, Brother Andrew Gonzalez, FSC College of Education, and De La Salle Institute for Development of Educational Research and Action Research Action Learning Aral present this Certificate of Appreciation to Mr. Salvador John M. Magalong for conducting uh, the DLSU Bagset Leader Aral uh, online, online webinar series. on Tara Edutech Tayo held on October 12, 2020, 10 a.m. to 12 noon via Zoom, signed Dr. Raymond C. Sison, the Dean of Bagsed, uh, Dr. Shirley Dita, the Director of Leader, and yours truly as the pro chairman of the ARAL 2020. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. next time. Yes, for next time. Okay. Meron ito pa tayo, John. Dan, tignan mo yung mga comments dito sa chat box. Ha? Okay. They're very appreciative. Okay. Uh, po, check. Okay. Uh, FB request na lang po. <laughs> uh, pwede yung, okay. Uh, they're asking for for your Opo, send ko po sa inyo. PowerPoint. PDF. Okay, isa-send na lang kay Liz and uh, yeah, probably Miss Liz can send to all the participants. Okay, again, yeah, uh, Liz already po. Mm -hmm. okay, posted the link to the evaluation. Ayan po. Okay, okay. paki gandahan po ng ano ha. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no need. No okay. need to <laughs> politicize. Yeah. Please access the link to the evaluation. Okay. Okay, the after which, I mean, if you are if you are done accomplishing the evaluation form, check your inbox, check your email. Okay. Hi, Billy Jack Pashon, my super wapong cousin, a regular attendee also of our uh, charm. May I uh, may I also uh, advertise no uh, promote advertise our next today. webinar? Uh, is uh, Patrice here? Patrice, are you? Uh, yes, okay. Oh, she's probably busy. Uh -oh. So our Not... web next webinar is on Monday with Patrice Mangulabnan as our featured speaker. And she will be followed by uh, Mr. JP Limweco and then uh, many more lined up. Actually, we, were, we are lucky to have uh, gained the acceptance uh, of our invitation for De La Salle Sobel faculty who have completed the action research school, they will also be sharing with us their experiences and their action research results. Again, thank you for coming and uh, thank you everyone. Yep. becoming a charmer. Mm -hmm. no? See so, you next Monday. You cannot afford to mm -hmm. miss uh, Patrice's uh, lecture. She's one brilliant young action researcher okay see you again uh, on monday charmers thank you john bye bye. Dr. Thank you Dr. Akuka, everyone thank you so much uh miss Liz will not end the meeting yet so for those who are still trying to accomplish the evaluation you may do so if you are done if you've already claimed your e certificates you can leave now the meeting thank you john also, i'd like to congratulate er palomar the new phd graduate congratulations yeah. Hi. Isunod na yan, Dr. Bing. Pansin ka na lang yes. yan, December. Uh, isunod na yan na yes. isunod na magbibigay uh, ng, uh, ng webinar. Yes, from EduHK, Education University of Hong Kong. Wow, that's great, fantastic. Congratulations po. Okay, bye everyone. Bye, bye Dr. Bing, Dr. Aguha. Bye, bye everyone.